right, we're going to start this match a little early. This is the replay. Um, not much of a match between Abi and Shodai. After Shodai's impressive performance against the Ozeki, he um, didn't have anything to give to the Maigashira 2 today. So, Abi uh, evens out at 4-4. Four and four. Tomorrow he'll have Tobizaru. And Shodai 3-5 and five now will have Meisei tomorrow. But the reason you clicked on this video is the next match coming up right now. And that's Asanoyama, the Maigashira 2, versus Maigashira 1, Meisei. And as we go into the second week, a lot of you are new to the channel. My basic philosophy starts to be, uh, should I show the match? Should I take my time? Are they involved in the Yusho hunt? Do they have a winning record at least? And this is about the last of the videos where like these two guys, neither of them are above Komosubi and neither have a winning record. They're both three and four. But I realize Asanoyama is very popular Rikshi and a lot of people want to see his matches. And that same could be said for other people. I, you know, I didn't show the Abi Shodai match. I didn't show Gonoyama today. Um, so there might be some hardcore Ryuden fans out there, you know. So I can't show everything, so I start to winnow it down to the matches that matter most uh, when we're talking about who's going to win the Emperor's Cup, right? Um, and of course, tomorrow, uh, you know, I will have, I think I had 11 videos yesterday, I'll have about 10 videos today, and I'll have a bunch tomorrow. But then, you know, the, the four days after that, uh, the 19th through the 22nd, you know, I'll be at work every day, so you're only going to get the you know, the last three matches of the day anyway. That's, you know, the only option I have now with the Abema coverage. But then going into the weekend, uh, you know, if, if Asanoyama doesn't turn things around and he's already fought everybody ranked above him, you know, uh, I might not show his matches unless, you know, leave a comment. Jason, show his match no matter what. I love Asanoyama. You know, I mean, if I hear a lot of that, then uh, I'll reconsider. Uh, but that's the reason you got the Takayasu match today and the Atami Fuji match, uh, you know, because they are on the top of the leaderboard and uh, very much in the hunt for the cup. But after this, I'm, I'm going to have seven videos for you in a row right now, um, all the way to the ending match, which today is Tobizaru versus Takakesho in the Musubi no Ichiban final match of the day. Uh, so, you know, that combined with uh, the other couple, uh, Pretty good, pretty good total. So what's that, nine or ten matches from today? Uh, well, nine from the top division and one from Jurio. So ten matches total. So hopefully uh, keeping you abreast of what's going on in the world of sumo. And uh, yeah, luckily, like I said, don't have to go to work tomorrow. Very excited about that. Sleep in. Might even treat myself to a McDonald's breakfast. There is a McDonald's not too far from my house. And I do enjoy the Ed Egg McMuffin. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite uh, McDonald's breakfast. But uh, yeah, and a little hash brown, some orange juice. Very nice. I don't obviously, you know, don't ever take the time to do that when I'm working. But at the weekend, every now and then, I'll go over, go through the drive through practically in my pajamas, and grab the McDonald's breakfast, a little treat. Okay, here we go. Abema loves the crowd shots. So, good win for Asanoyama to even out at 4 and 4. And may say the Maigashira won now at 3 and 5. And a lot of you have been leaving comments. I think a lot of you are, are coming to Sumo this year because of uh, Sanctuary on Netflix and you're finding Sumo, and that's great. Um, and asking me, what is the Gyoji saying? What is the judge saying? What is Hakioi and Jikan Des and some of these other terms mean in Japanese? And there is a link. I put it up every day in the final match of the day with a whole bunch of other links. And it's called Sumopedia. And it's an NHK World uh, little collection of videos they made. They're very well made. They're about two or three minutes long. And they explain all the different rules of Sumo, traditions of Sumo. 
and they have a whole video on what is the Gyoji yelling. And so you can go there and watch that video. I highly recommend it if you're a newbie. Um, go and seek out and watch three or four of those videos. They'll tell you a lot about, you know, why do they have those things dangling down from their belt and what's the hand signal they make when they win money and or win a match and, you know, all those kind of questions you might have about all the rituals and traditions and rules. Um, they're covered. I think they have 40 or 50 little short videos. So it's not a lot of time commitment, but it'll really in, enhance your enjoyment of the sport. Sumopedia on NHK World site. The link will be in the Toby Zotter to Takake show match today. All right, up next, we do jump into the Sanyaku ranked matches with Daisho versus Nishikigi. Uh, Komasubi Nishikigi slightly better at 4 and 3 right now versus Daisho 3 and 4. Then we'll have the other two Sekewake matches and the three Ozeki matches, of course, to finish out the day. Uh, we've been pretty lucky, actually, since day one. No wrestler in the, and I'm probably going to jinx it here, no wrestler in the top division or the Jurio division has pulled out of the tournament. So uh, we've had a very steady, uh, you know, nobody has uh, has withdrawn to uh, to wreck your team or do anything like that if you're in the contest. So it's been pretty consistent, which is great. Okay, come on back. More to come.